Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jeff Sims. I'm a master plumber with the state of Texas and the plumbing development manager for Chorby. And today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be doing a how-to video on flushing a regular standard 50 gallon water heater. And so as you can see here, here's a couple of things you will need to know. Um, here is your drain port. Here is your shutoff valve for your gas. You don't have to shut it off there. You can actually turn it off here and put it on pilot mode or off or vacation mode, either one. If you have an electric water heater, you will need to shut the electricity off at the panel. We do not have that type of situation here. You will shut the electricity off before you start draining down the water heater and you will have to fill the electric water heater all the way up and get all the air out of the system before turning the electricity back on or you will actually uh, pop an element or, or could cause problems with the water heater. So another thing is we need to know where the shutoff valve is. So there's the shutoff valve. Um, I do not control what type of heater this is. This is an A.O. Smith, but um, you can be flushing any different type of water heaters. Bradford White, A.O. Smith, uh, Ream, it doesn't matter. It's all pretty much the same procedure. So we run our water hose over to the closest bathroom, which is what we've done. Stick it in a drain or something. And then what you will do here is connect over to this drain. And you will go ahead and turn the water on. Turn, turn your drain valve on. And uh, now that we've got the drain valve on, it's blowing all the sediment out for about two to three minutes. And then what you'll do is you'll turn off the live feed. You'll have different type of valves. Sometimes they're quarter turns. Sometimes you have to turn them a million times. Keep twisting it till you turn the water off. And then what you'll do is kick on a faucet on the hot water side. Make sure you're draining down that system. You'll drain down that system for about 30 minutes or so. And um, then I would turn it back on live and then Make sure you turn your isolation valve or your drain down valve off. And so, and then turn your heater back up and you're good to go. And so, basically, we will turn this back on. Put our, turn our valve back off. You're getting pressure now on the hot side. Go over, turn your heater back up, or, or at this point, you'll turn the electricity back on. And then in about an hour, you will have hot water. So that is how you properly drain a regular, tank type water heater if it was a tankless it's a completely different procedure it has to be descaled instead of flushed if you have any questions please let us know um thank you so much chorby your chores are our passion have a nice day